Hey guys, Michael with armchairbuilder.com here. Hey listen, old man winter can really create havoc for homeowners this time of year. Have you noticed water spots on your ceilings after windy, snowy days? It could be that you're getting actual snow in your attic. Ridge vents create a nice clean look to your home by allowing us to eliminate those unsightly traditional square or round roof vents. By installing a ridge vent, we incorporate the required venting seamlessly into the roof plane. So to better understand how snow could actually get into your attic, let's take a look at how a ridge vent is installed. So the installation of the ridge vent starts at the frame stage when we leave a gap at the ridge in the roof sheathing. The ridge vent is like a hat that will cover this gap, allowing hot moist air to escape from the attic. We also install perforated soffit venting at the eaves to allow outside air to enter the attic. Baffles in the attic keep the insulation from obstructing the flow of air from the eave vents. This airflow carries the hot moist air through the attic and then out the ridge vent. This system works great as long as everything has been installed properly and there's no wind driven snow. In some instances however, hard driving snow can make its way through the vent and accumulate in your attic. Trust me, I've seen it. This snow accumulation will eventually melt and make its way down through the insulation and show up as water spots on your ceiling. So what can you do to see if your leak is caused by snow in your attic? We'll take a look through your attic access panel after a driving snow has occurred. And keep in mind this snow accumulation can melt fast so you want to get up there right after the event. So what do you do if you do find snow in your attic? Wait until your roof is dry and look for any loose pieces of vent. When a vent comes loose, it can allow snow to blow underneath it. Also check to make sure the ends of the ridge vent are capped off. Some ridge vent models require end caps to seal them up to prevent snow and rain from blowing in. If you're building a new home, tell your roofer your concerns about snow blow-ins and have them use the best model available to prevent them. Also require your carpenter to install at least a two foot wide piece of roof sheathing at the ridge to give the roofer a solid material to nail into. If they end up with a smaller piece of sheathing, make sure they install blocking between the trusses or the rafters. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing guys. If you have any questions about that or any other item related to your home, or if you're thinking about building your own home, feel free to stop by and see us at armchairbuilder.com.